Welcome back. We're seeing several positive signs in our fight against coronavirus with new cases and hospitalizations dropping. We're joined now live with Dr. Jeff Pada from UW Health. Doctor, let's start with Milwaukee County. The CDC now says they've listed it at a low community level. What exactly does that mean? What do the couple of weeks look like ahead? Yeah, I think, you know, current trajectories maintain themselves. What this means is that those things that we do to protect ourselves from transmitting the virus, wearing masks, distancing, shutting things down, uh, aren't necessary because the likelihood of running into someone who would have the disease could transmit it to you, say, in the grocery store, uh, is so low uh, that the benefit of the mask starts to wane. Uh, if things continue like this, that means a return to normal. Uh, and I think the CDC guidelines provide uh, a guideline for when we might have to put those masks back on again someday if a variant somehow would develop. So you think that we could wear masks again? I think it's possible right now. There's nothing on the horizon that would suggest that. Uh, I think uh, if those of us uh, who've been vaccinated get our booster shots, uh, we're able to keep up on uh, boosters that maybe address the variants that do develop in the future. We may not ever have to go back uh, to wearing masks like we had in the past, uh, but we also have to be prepared for if there is some sort of variant that would cause some sort of surge, you know, what would we do? When would we know uh, that we have to take action? Right. I want to touch on vaccinations. The CDC says that in Wisconsin, about 68% of the eligible population is fully vaccinated. And right now there's a ton of vaccine supply right now, not much demand. What do you think that means, doctor? at the numbers saying, hey, this looks great. Uh, I think there's a lot of people who've recently been infected thinking, you know what, I probably don't need to get vaccinated. I don't need to get boosted. Uh, you know, the, the better part of Valor would be to get that booster, obviously get vaccinated if you're not. Uh, but I do think that means that we may see vaccine at some point in the future. It has a very long shelf life, uh, you know, either expiring or uh, being moved to different places, places where uh, vaccine demand is higher. Maybe they haven't had access to it uh, in the past so that those uh, doses can get used uh, by people who need them or want them. And finally, something that I've been thinking about a lot, the people that are immunocompromised, some people that may even be going through chemo, um, what do immunocompromised people need to know to stay safe? You know, life is difficult for these immunocompromised people, uh, not just in the sense of COVID-19, but, but in other diseases, uh, because despite them doing all the right things, uh, you know, getting vaccinated and things like that, uh, they still stand risk of catching diseases that wouldn't bother the average person. We wouldn't think twice about it, uh, but could, you know, seriously threaten their health, potentially even kill them. Uh, so for those folks who are severely immunocompromised, you may see them, you know, wearing masks until cases are at very, very low levels. Uh, you may see them taking other steps to try to protect themselves uh, just because they are not afforded the same benefit we are uh, with a healthy immune system. Exactly. Doctor, it's so important to talk to you each week. We really appreciate you. A reminder, you can always find the latest information on coronavirus, including the current CDC recommendations at oh, tmj4.com slash coronavirus.